What's up guys, it's Instinct here and today I'll be showing you guys how to do this cool text effect where you have a cut cutting the letters and of course you can swap the materials around because they're in different extrudes and to do this we'll be using the spline mask. You can do this in any version of Cinema 4D and you do not need any plugins so that's really nice. I'll leave a link in the description to a Lightroom, not this exact Lightroom but a Lightroom that you guys can download for free. And if you guys want some premium, really good metal materials, I'll also link my metal material pack in the description below. It is not free, but I will still link it there if you guys need some really good metal materials. With all that being said, guys, let's start this tutorial. So to start off, guys, go ahead and click MoGraph and click Mo Text. This will get your text going up here, and we can use whatever we want. So for this example, I'm just going to use text like that. And then go ahead and click middle. Also, I'm going to be using all caps because it works great with the font I'm going to be using, which is Cunia. Um, go ahead and click your font right here, scroll up, and it is right here. I'll also leave a link in the description to this exact font if you guys want to follow the tutorial exactly. From here, go ahead and hit Control C and Control V, and we're just going to make a backup. And we're going to drag it beneath everything and title this back up or just back and i'm gonna click these two red dots to turn this layer off but the, the reason we're doing this is because from this point on we won't be able to edit the text at all because we're going to start taking the splines out of the uh, text here so go ahead and click c and go ahead and click this button and just keep clicking until you see these uh green cubes looking things and then we're gonna also take the um, splines out of the uh, extrudes here so go ahead and just click the first one and just hit control and this will multi select all the splines drag them out of the text layer and we can delete the, um, the text so now we have our splines from here we're gonna grab a spline mask go ahead and click this little uh, array thing right here and get a spline mask and we're gonna duplicate this four times or one for each letter you have so if you have like six letters in your text then use six but i'm going to be using four i'm gonna go ahead and change the mode on the spline mask to a subtract b and we're going to do that for all of them so i'm going to just going to select all three of these ones and put them there so they should all be on a subtract b from here we're going to make our cut um, and you can use a straight line like just like this that will work, and you can also do like a curvy one, which um, will also work. So for this one, I'm actually going to be using a curve, something like that. And go ahead and just kind of complete it. So this is where it's going to cut. Alright, so from here, we're going to duplicate this uh, four times, or three times. So we have four of them. And we are going to drag the uh, letters above the spline, like so. And then take both of these and drag it into the spline mask. And then minimize that. So again, we're going to uh, drag the letter above the spline. And then, or like, the, uh, the this little spline thing right here. And we're going to select both of these and put them into the uh, spline mask. You can also hold uh, shift to select or control it will also work as well. So right here, like this and into the spline and then once more into the um or take the t put it above the spline and like this there you go also make sure the arrow is pointing down when you do this make sure it's pointing down like that if it's like this it will just go out make sure it's like that and it goes in all right so we have our effect on the bottom half and now we're gonna have to do this again so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these a null, so select these all, just hit the bottom one, hold shift, click the top one, and hit alt G, this will make it a null. I'm going to name this null bottom, and um, we're going to duplicate this, and that, and we are going to switch these to uh, and, and that will make it so that uh, the top is being cut. And change this to the top. There we go. So now you can take the bottom one and move it down. And we have our effect just like that. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab some extrude. So click this button right here and grab the extrude. And um, go ahead and click object and put this to 100. Now that I think about it, the uh, settings in the beginning didn't really matter. So we're gonna we deleted that anyways, so we're just gonna kind of redo this and put that at 10 and 2 like I did before. And we're gonna delete or er, we're gonna duplicate this um, eight times. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're basically gonna take each spline mask and put it in the extrude like this, and then take all these extrudes. And I forgot that one, and put them back into the null, like that, and then same thing for the bottom ones. Put all the spline masks in the extrudes, like so, and there we go. There's our effect. Now we can do a few more things to make this pop even more, uh, but we're gonna put this back into the null, and then um, I'm gonna group these both and just write like text. There we go. Alright, so from here we're going to start adding our materials. And I'm just going to put it on to here, like so. And I want the top material to be the same and the bottom material to be this, like a different material. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click cubic and seamless. Set this to cubic and seamless, like so. And then hold control. And now it'll duplicate your material. And I'll put it on to all four extrudes. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a different material. I'm going to be using this red material, and we're going to put these on the bottom ones. So just go ahead and drag it onto one of the extrudes. And for projection, put cubic and seamless. And hold control, and just drag this down like so. And there we go, we have our effect. Boom, like that. Um, Quick, quick tip here, if you guys want to like change materials, if like you say, I don't like this red material or something like that, right? What you can do is hold shift or click the bottom one, hold shift, select the top one, and then just put any material onto the material. So like if I want to swap it with this green one, just put it like that and it'll change all four of them at once instead of having to delete them and drag them back individually. You can just do that. Um, and I actually kind of like this, but I'm actually going to switch these ones around. I want these on the top. So I'm just going to put it like that and then select these ones. and grab that green one. Actually, I'll do green six. I think this is the right one. Like the same one as the red one, but green. Yeah. Yes. Like that. Okay. So now we have our materials on there. Um, you could just call it like good here and just give it a little tilt and render it out like that. Ooh, that is... I'm actually going to switch these again. I'll do that real quick. Alright guys, so I did a little bit of adjustments and swapping the materials around. I think this is looking a little bit better, so from here what you guys want to do is just kind of uh, hit Control c Control v and just duplicate this entire text, so now we have two of them. And from here we can go into the extrudes and put the caps at 5, and or the radius at 5, and do it for both of these. And then we're going to do it to the bottom one as well. So just change these to 5, like so. And I'm actually going to put these both at 0, like the coordinates, because this will make this next step a little bit easier. So like that. Um, so now what we're going to do is go to our bigger text. I'm actually going to name this a bigger, bigger text so you guys don't get confused. So drag our bigger text, and we're actually going to go back into the extrudes because we are going to make the objects, um, or the depth, 50. So I forgot to do that. Um, and then we're going to do the bottom of the song. And then that will create this little cool effect like this. Now what we can do is go to the bigger text, like the null, and put this at negative, put the Z at 25, I believe. And that will put it perfectly in the middle. So you get this um, double text effect. And from here, we're basically done. You could leave it like this, but I want to swap the back materials uh, to get like a sort of a checker effect. So for that, all we have to do is just take these materials and swap them out for the green materials. So select all these materials, uh, 
get the your material and plop it there. So now that we have all these green, and then we're gonna switch this one with the the this material, the iron four is what I swapped it out with. And like that, we have the checkered effect, and they're swapping materials. And that is basically it for the tutorial. This is what it looks like. You could um I'm actually gonna um, group these so it's all on one and then you can rotate it like that and render it out and get this cool effect maybe something like that and boom so that is basically it for the tutorial guys of course you guys could do more like add a, a effector like a random effector or add a bevel or a bend deformer you guys can do all sorts of things with this but this is basically the um, basic split or splice uh, text effect um, it is a really cool effect commonly used in intro so i thought i would do tutorial on it because there's really no tutorial out there using the spline mask method of course i did a tutorial on this um two or three years ago but i was using photoshop and this method is just way better you get cleaner cuts and you don't need uh, photoshop you can do this all in cinema 4d so with all that being said guys that's been instinct setting out for now peace